See what's going on right now, and boy, do I have a doozy for you guys. Stick around. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the garage, and let's just get right down into it. This has been something I've been excited to talk about for a long time now, and finally today, the embargo is lifted. HP Tuners is coming out with their own standalone ECU. Let that sink in for a little bit, and I've got details you're going to be impressed now take remember this is pre-production some of these images that you see things like that things can change the goal is to have this thing out q1 of next year q2 might happen who knows but nonetheless this has been development for years and it's going to be pretty epic. So let's talk about what they have lined up for some of the initial stuff. I'm just going to read you kind of the press release here and then we'll go over some of the specs that I have. But And this is specifically, it's like uh, we're at SEMA 2023. This is the release that they're, they would, you would have heard there if you were at SEMA. So, HP Tuners, sorry, and I've been fighting COVID for the last couple of days. I feel like crap, so bear with me. HP Tuners, a leader in vehicle aftermarket performance solution, marks a significant milestone with the induction of the core ECU and VCM Live software. That's the software suite that's going to be used with the core ECU. Uh, the company announced... Its debut standalone engine management solution at the SEMA show on October 31st, 2023 at booth 23351 in Central Hall. At launch, Core ECU and VCM Live will support GMLS applications with the 24X crank and 1X cam or the 50X crank and the 4X cam. Core ECU will be available for purchase in early 2020. Uh... We're looking like price is probably going to be around two thousand dollars. Put that put that away in the back of your head. Uh, Core ECU is the first step into a brand new space for HP tuners, bringing our technical ability and innovation to a segment of customers who require the utmost level of control and customization. Core ECU and VCM Live will quickly become the newest standard in Gen three and Gen four LS projects says Director of Marketing, Eddie Chu. Eddie, what up, Eddie? HP Tuner's uh, solution combines what they believe the best engine management strategies into a comprehensive, user-friendly package with their signature touch. Their Director of Powertrain and Engineering, Derek Morley, describes Core ECU as the expansion of HP Tuner's innovation and class name product, blah, 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 blah. Okay, key features. Fueling control for up to 16 injectors. And there's a reason behind this. We'll talk more about this in a bit. 16 injector sequential and flex fuel control. Support for 8 cold packs. Dual throttle body support. Two built-in wideband controllers, Lambda. Internal data logging. Uh, initially uh, 150 channels at 1 kilohertz. Three CAN bus networks. One of them is going to be an HP Tuners, uh, what they call HPT Net. The other will be the additional CAN bus to talk to other devices with Ethernet connectivity. Uh, single stage on off and progressive nitrous control. And I wouldn't be surprised to see if they add multi stages down the later on. Uh, but initially, it's going to be a single stage on off progressive nitrous control, trash control, turbo boost, and ALI control. Um, and then you should be able to go over to the HP Tuners website now and, and look it up. But here's a bigger, more 
in-depth list of the stuff that we care about. <clears throat> so. Show some of these other pictures. Good form factor. Uh, you, you notice they're using kind of the same connections as what everybody else is. Once again, these are pre-production. The design may change it a little bit, but for the most part, I think everything's locked in place. So, uh, Core ECU currently supports Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS engines with 24X crank 1X cam taker along with 58 and 4X. And it says supported LS engines are LS1, LS6, LS2, LS3, LS7, blah, blah, blah. Along with any other 24X crank and 1X cam or 50X crank and 4X cam setup. Okay, so I don't know yet whether or not this is a hardware limitation or a software limitation. Uh, my guess is it's just a software limitation as they release new firmwares, cam crank uh, stuff will allow more expandability on that stuff. So. I don't know yet. Right now, it'll work with our basic LSs. <clears throat> uh, comes with our the new software is VCM Live software. Uh, I'm not going to read into this. Once we get our hands on a copy of the software, we'll go through the software. So, technical specifications, IP66 rated, so it can be mounted under the hood trigger scope configurable cam pc connection via ethernet which is an inter interesting approach should be very quick uh two gigs of logging memory laptop data logging via vcm live onboard data logging onboard wideband and then passwords for locking tunes if you want to do that okay inputs it's, this doesn't have a number. Strategy functions. I don't really care about that. But. <clears throat> okay. The 16 injector thing is. There are going to be high impedance injectors. There's not going to be low impedance drivers on this thing. But having the ability to do 16. Instead of just 8. Means instead of having to run 8. Low impedance injectors. Whenever you get above say like. 1500, 2000 horsepower. You can just run 16 injectors. And it's sequential and it's cheaper you get better re resolution on the injector control and so i understand why they went with 16 injectors as opposed to uh having high impedance support on this or low impedance sorry uh you know everything else pretty standard folks feel Cool packs, all that, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at, they have a comparison diagram. And uh, as I said, if you look at the list of ECUs this is being compared to, this is not being compared to things like the Terminator. This is top tier level stuff like the Dominator, uh, the Elite 2500 from Haltech, Fuel Tech FT600. But here's the breakdown very simple comparison uh, low side injector control uh, user configurable outputs PWM which can be used for a lot of different things essentially it's a way that you do uh, analogs digital outputs uh, we're going to have four of those then we have 12 additional low side outputs. This is a big one. We've got four or five amp high side outputs. And then we have four that we can half bridge. Which is another important one. So pretty decent amount of outputs. Input side. We've got four digital inputs. Uh, those are the user definable ones. Then we have our... Uh, cam crank crank cam and speed input so interesting enough 
you can see that we've got one crank and four cams so eventually i'm guessing there will be support for dual overhead cam like the uh coyote and stuff like that and then we've got four uh hall effect or our vr sensor speed inputs that are hard encoded uh analog inputs 12 but can also be used as digital, which is nice. Uh, and then we've got six 12-bit NTC temperature inputs, which is kind of crazy that they've got six dedicated temperature in inputs. So, uh, waterproof IP66, trigger scope, yes, which is nice. So you can see your counts on your, uh, for troubleshooting, wherever you have crank or cam sensor issues. Three can channels, uh, Ethernet PC connection, configurable can, which is important uh, for guys like me that like to be able to actually set up the CAN bus to talk to different devices that normally wouldn't uh, talk. Uh, logging frequency, VCM Live is 100 hertz, onboard is 1000 hertz. Two four point nines, single station arch control boost control. So transmission control, it lists the four L sixty and four L eighty E. That's not going to be available at least right now. That obviously is going to be one of the things that's going to be available very soon. Uh, they are working on, it, but as far as I know, it is not. Do, 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 do. ECU supports automatic transmission where transmission switches automatically based on engine speed and parameters. Currently supporting 4L60 and 4L65 additional support coming soon. So, uh, and it's odd that they say on here it's 4L60 and 65, and then on here they've got the 60 and 60E, the R80, 60 and 80E, but should go. Uh, should be very quickly that the 4L80 is available. Uh, drive by wire, dual, secondary fuel injection, flex fuel, closed loop O2, knock control. Uh, yeah, there we go. Variable cam up to four. Engine protection on multi level. Map switching four maps. So you can have uh, eco normal and sport or low, medium, high boost maps, stuff like that. Then launch control and traction control, which a lot of that's going to be software dependent. We'll, we'll get into the software more as we kind of figure that out. But that is the announcement. Keep your eyes peeled. As more information comes out, uh, we'll dial into this. Um, whenever we can, we're going to jump in, take a look at the software. Uh, and then hopefully we'll be installing one of these things soon so we can check, check out that side of it, you know. I've been talking about, I've been looking for a new, uh, uh, controller for the, uh, Smoke Monster. This might be it. The only thing I'd have to do on it is, uh, change the crank. Reluctor because it's not on 24x, but easy enough. So listen guys. Thanks for dealing with me while I'm sick. I feel terrible. I sound terrible oh, uh, Hopefully I'll be better in a couple days, but uh, Keep your eyes peeled. There's going to be more information about this I'm going to be getting it out to you guys as I can you guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage member ABT always be tuning